Hey guys, recently I did a video building a wire antenna. It was a vertical wire antenna, but it kind of went step by step, cutting the wires, the whole process. And um, and they, people had some great uh, great comments and great questions. And, and they talked about other antennas as well. And I've built a lot of wire antennas. So I wanted to kind of go through to kind of maybe give you some motivations to get out of the shack and build some antennas. But um, I want to go through and list my 10 favorite easy to build, not not just 10 favorite antennas, but what I think are wire antennas that are easy to build. I want to go through, and maybe give you some ideas so you can get out and build them as well. But my 10, top 10 wire antennas, stick around. Okay, here we go. My top 10 wire antennas that are easy to build. That's the criteria here. Um, I hope I can uh, motivate you to get out and get out of the shack and do some building. And, uh, and we can go through some of these. I've built all of these antennas and, um, and I've had success with all of these antennas. There are, like I said, there's a couple of, uh, that are a little harder to build. I'll put them at the end, a little honorable mention of some stuff I've built, but these are my top 10. And, uh, like I said, you probably will have a different, uh, different arrangement, different number, different ranking. That's cool. Uh, put, put yours in the comments or tell me what you like most or least or whatever. I'm, uh, I'm interested. You may uh, inspire me to go out and build another antenna if I missed anything that you think uh, I should get out and build. Anyway, drum roll, please. Let's start it off. Number 10. Number 10 is the dipole. Man, the dipole antenna is the antenna for every ham to get started with. Uh, pretty easy to build. Uh, basically, all you need is some wire and a banana clip and uh, or you know, a couple insulators. Or you can add a uh, a one-to-one ballon, which really makes it nice and uh, it makes the antenna even more efficient. They're uh, resonant. They're single band. They're resonant on that band. You cut to be uh, resonant, and um, they're a good band to get started with. And like if you're you know build one for twenty or forty meters, um, they're great. I know with a forty meter antenna, you could use possibly use that for fifteen meters as well. But um, basically a monoband antenna and uh, somewhat directional, but, but a great antenna and a really good antenna to get started with. All right, let's move on. Let's go to number nine. Number nine, we're going to stick with a dipole, but we're going to make it an inverted V. We're going to just take it, basically use a pole, and uh, put it up in the center of the pole. You could do this with a tree or, or whatever, any way you could get that middle up high. Couple stakes uh, down, and um, and there you go. This kind of changes the uh, the antenna somewhat, especially in the takeoff angle, and it makes it somewhat omnidirectional. It's a it's a great antenna for limited space in smaller backyards. If you can get a pole or something up in the middle, or like I said, maybe even if you have a tree, an inverted V dipole is a really good antenna, and I enjoyed. The, I've had success with the ones that I've built for sure. Um, sticking it one, one more time. Number eight, number eight is a vertical dipole and a vertical dipole. I've had some great success with them. I've built vertical dipoles for six meters and for 10 meters. You do basically with this, you need a pole just like the inverted V, but, um, that's about it. A pole, some wire and uh, a one-to-one -one or a banana clip and, uh, and some tape, take that thing to the pole and up you go. Had some really great contacts on 10 meters recently with a, uh, with a uh, vertical dipole. And, uh, it's, it's good. The, the problem with the vertical dipole though, after about 10, maybe 12 meter band, yeah, uh, they're getting, they're too big and too long and it's just having a pole. Unless you've got a big tree and you can harness, you can hoist something way up in the sky and, uh, and you can poss possibly make them for other bands. But, uh, the two that I've made, I've made a couple for 10 meters. I've made one for six meters and I enjoyed them. They, they were, uh, quite successful and, uh, and great, uh, and great antennas. Uh, number seven, number seven is the 29 foot vertical antenna. This falls down in the uh, random wire antenna world, but um, with the, my 10 meter DX commander pole, I can get a 29 foot um, antenna up on it, and and it's pretty neat. And what this is a great antenna for 40 through 10 meters. I can, and, and granted, you need a, a nine to one un un, and uh, this falls in the random wire family. If you're familiar with random wire antennas and their lengths, I've done quite a few videos on those. You can go back and check them out, but um. Yeah, they're a great antenna and I, and they're really the takeoff angle with a vertical 
and especially that vertical as long as as big as it is it's a it's a great antenna and i've done some uh done some amazing things with a 29 foot random uh random vertical random wire vertical antenna which is about 8.8 .8 meters i know i'm talking in uh, u.s feet here but that's a uh, about 8.8 .8 meters long it's a great antenna but uh yeah there you go so there is my number seven number six number six is the what i call the 17.5 vertical this is the antenna i actually built uh, in the video I, that I'll, I'll put the link to that in the, co in the comments there or in the uh, description. But this is act the actual antenna I built. Love this antenna because it's really good multiband antenna from 20 to 10. And, uh, and it's easy to build. And uh, with this, all you need is a pole, some wire, uh, maybe even a smaller pole and, um, and a four to one, four to one on with this works great. And you can really do some great DX with this. Uh, we're getting now to a point to where with this antenna, you kind of want to put a uh, a ground plane underneath it. I don't have to, you don't really have to worry about how long the wires are. If you can get four, five, six wires, somewhere in the neighborhood of about five meters long down on the ground, there's your ground plane. Then all my antennas that I'm going to talk about that are verticals that require a ground plane, this is kind of what I do and I have su success with this as well. So the 17.5, it's an antenna I, I enjoy and uh, it is my number six antenna. Number five, number five is the classic quarter wave vertical ground plane antenna. This is an easy antenna to build, especially for 20 meters. You only need a five meter pole to do this. You can do that when there's a lot of small, inexpensive telescopic um, uh, poles that you can put that up with. But with this, once again, all you really need is a banana clip, some wire, some tape to tape the wire to the pole. Adding a one-to-one -one Ballinora choke to this really helps greatly, and uh, it, it improves the efficiency of the antenna and, and makes it what I think it keeps that common mode current and stuff out of the uh, coax and makes it a great antenna. But you really don't need to. You can make this with a simple banana clip and some wires taped to the uh, antenna. Quarter wave vertical band. I've probably made this antenna more than any other antenna uh, it, 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 we're being out portable with. It's a great antenna, especially I think it rocks for 20 meters. It's really a great antenna. Number four. Number four is the 41 foot sloping wire antenna. I built this um, when I was in Poland, actually, I built this antenna. With this, you just once again, it's a nine to one un -un, um some wire an insulator and a way to just get some, you know, some twine or rope to tie this thing off. And uh, I sloped mine, the ones I've built, I've built them both sloping up to a pole. I sloped it out of a second floor window down to the ground and tied it off on a fence and, and had some really, uh, really good success with it. And uh, once again, I, I keep talking in, uh, <laughs> in U.S. measurements. That's 12.5 meters for a 41 foot uh antenna there so um great antenna to build uh i've had some really great contacts on this sloping as a sloper um i haven't built this yet as a vertical antenna if i could get a big enough pole i have a feeling this will be an amazing a 41 footer on like a 12 and a half meter pole would probably rock i'm sure it'll kick butt for sure all right getting up here getting close now number three number three for me is going to probably be some people's number one, but it's a great antenna. It's the classic infed half wave antenna for 40 meters. And uh, this thing is easy for me to build. I have a, a, a really great 49 to one un -un, uh, from 10 tennis I like to use when I build my own. Um, some wire, an insulator, and, um, and it's great. I've built this one once again, sloping out a window down to a fence. Um, you can build it sloping up from the ground up. Cool thing about infed half wave antennas too is there's a lot of makers out there that make these things, the transformers, the 49 to 1 transformers, where you can wrap the wire around it when you're done and hold it in the palm of your hand. It's a small, easy to, to travel with um, uh, antenna. A lot of people like to build their own. You can buy kits and um, or buy the transformer already made, uh, and the 49 to 1 already made. You know, cut your own wire, wrap it around it, and go. They are really a wonderful, easy to travel with easy to, to deploy antenna and that is the uh the infed half wave for for 40 meters which is about i would say 65 feet long is the wire length on that so roughly around 20 meters uh it was a half wave for 40 but a uh, great antenna i've had some wonderful success as i'm sure a lot of people watching this video has probably had some wonderful success success with an infed half wave antenna for sure number two number two is the ribikoff antenna the Ribikoff antenna, I've had some amazing success with this. This is basically, uh, 
you're going to need a pole, some wire, and a four to one on un to build the Ribicoff. Um, it's 25 feet, or that's uh, 7.6 meters high. And uh, this thing uh, it would require, as I mentioned earlier, a ground plane below it. But um, what an incredible antenna multiband. I was shocked when I first built this thing, uh, how well it performed. And since I've built, I think I've built it three or four times since. And uh, and it's just a great, it falls in the family of uh, the, the random wire antenna family as far as... Uh, uh, the length of the wire not being resident on any of the bands that you want to use. And you, you do require a, an antenna tuner to use it. But, uh, yeah, the Ribicoff antenna is my number two. It really is. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, simple, easy to uh, to build. Just cut that wire, put it up on a pole, and go. All right, my number one antenna. And this is, I have, there is no second. that This is absolutely my number one antenna. Is a vertical in-fed half wave for 20 meters. I love this antenna. I use a 49 to 1 on un, um, a wire cut to basically right at uh, 39.8 something of a, or just under 20 meters. Um, with this uh, vertical, I have worked some incredible DX. This is my get up on Saturday morning and talk to Australia QRP antenna right here, or with 20 watts. I never miss a beat with this and get incredible signal reports, especially when I'm operating down by the sea. Now, with this, the counterpoise wire, I choke it at the, at the feed point and use a counterpoise wire that's 5% of a wavelength. So, basically, that's about a one-meter-long uh, wire and uh, with it. And that's what I like about that 10 tennis, um uh, Unon, it's got the, uh, the connection there for a counterpoise wire, but absolutely. I've been to the top of, uh, of sand dunes with this antenna and, uh, and, and worked the world with my vertical infed half wave antenna. Great antenna for 20 meters. So, um, if you got the means of a pole and a way to get this thing up, I highly recommend it. This is my favorite, my number one wire antenna for me when I'm operating portable for sure. I want to give some honorable mentions, um, a couple honorable mentions. And, th and the only reason I'm saying this is I've put these antennas up. Uh, the first one I did not build from scrap. I, I purchased, and that is an off-center fed dipole for 40 meters. These are great multi-band antennas. Uh, you do need a, a tuner for some bands, but um, basically it's a four-to-one ballon with a uh, wire for a half a wavelength of of, of of 40 meters but what you do is you cut a, a one third of that uh on one side and two thirds on the other and the, at the feed point there he brings it down with a four to one to just about perfect match for the coax and uh they're great antennas i made some great contacts with an off-center fed dipole with that thing too you can also use it as a a flat topper uh an inverted v a sloper uh great antenna and I, i've had a lot of fun with that Another honorable mention that uh, is really amazing antennas are Delta, are Delta Loops. And uh, I wish I had a means to uh, to do more with Delta Loops. I did build one for 10 meters, which is a smaller antenna. And it took me two poles. What I did was rocked mine uh, kind of sideways and uh, and put it in a vertical position with a 4 to 1 on on. And I'm sorry, four to one ballon on that and, uh, and used it and I uh, had really good success with it. I'll probably get out more with, um, with, um, Delta loops, but uh, I, like I said at the beginning of the video, trying to make these as, uh, simple, easy to build antennas. Delta loop takes, it's a little bit of a challenge and it takes a little bit to, uh, to get a Delta loop straight up in the air and, and operating fine. Anyway, that's it. My honorable mentions, uh, a few things as you saw, I got a lot of, uh, LDG. Um, balance and ununs. Um, I'm not sponsored by, or, or I bought every one of those, um, LDGs. Uh, the 10, the, the DX Commander 10 meter, I have the, uh, the, the travel pole, the smaller, or the collapsible one with that. I love that. Purchased that as well. Um, wire for me, I love, uh, just simple speaker wire, uh, the 16 gauge speaker wire. If you've seen my other videos, you know how much I love this thing. This stuff is inexpensive here in the States at Walmart and easy to get a hold of. Um, I think it's like sixteen ninety nine US dollars right now, and you can even order this online as well. But um, that's it. Another thing to think of on some of these antennas, I know I've got like the random wires, and some of them are multi band antennas. Uh, you will need if you don't have an automatic antenna tuner an ATU in your uh, in your uh, transceiver, you might want to consider uh, some sort of an antenna tuner, uh, be it a, an ATU or a manual uh, matchbox type antenna tuner to use on some of these. But um, 
the um, the, the 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 radio I used is the G ninety the ATU inside of it is just amazing. Now, you see some of these antennas, you don't have the means, the tools, the space, and the place to build them. Another guy built I, some of these antennas. I've actually purchased from a good friend. And I purchased, I'm not, this isn't a plug for him. This is just my honest opinion of him. Tim N9SAB. I'll put a link to his store. He has an Etsy store and a, um, and an eBay store. And, uh, I, I love his stuff. I've bought a lot of stuff from him. Quality. Everything was dead on when I put it up. SWR was great. Um, just about every antenna I mentioned are pretty close to it. Um, I've also gotten a couple of uh, G5 RV antennas from him. Um, he is an amazing builder. So if you don't want to build your own antenna, but you want to experiment with some of these, go look at what he's got. He's a private, independent guy, a mom and pop shop, basically, who builds antennas and sells them. And uh, if you don't have the patience and the time or the where through all, I'll say this right. If you don't have the time and the patience um, to build, English is a hard language. And <laughs> if you don't have the time and the patience, you can go check out his um, his stuff as well. Anyway, that's it. My top 10. I hope I inspire you to get out and build some antennas. I love doing it. I try to build a new antenna every week of some sort. Start running out of ideas. So you guys give me some ideas of some antennas you want to see me build. And uh, maybe we'll knock some of these off the top 10 and I'll find something better there for sure. Until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO. Hey, please like and subscribe. If you really like the channel, please become a member. And until next time, 73 guys, see you soon.